So I found it. I found a super budget affordable version of a watch from last year that I absolutely love, the Christopher Ward Bell Canto. What a cool looking watch and I understand why so many people got so excited about it. I got excited about it, but it's too expensive for me. It's not too expensive, but it's just too expensive for me. But I found a super affordable mechanical alternative which might be worth considering. Let's check it out. Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I am talking about watches. Yes, it is absolutely true. I got a little bit excited last year when Christopher Ward released that Bel Canto, but not for all the reasons that everybody else got excited about it. Well, not just those reasons why other people got excited about it. I got a little bit excited about it because I really liked it. And that surprised me because it's not really the style of watch that I'm normally sort of drawn towards. Most of the watches in my collection are fairly sort of normal looking watches, maybe something a little bit fun, but certainly nothing that looked like that belt canto. But unfortunately, it is way outside of how much I'm willing to spend on a watch at this stage. But I liked it so much that I was hoping that there might be a watch out there that might be a budget version alternative to it. And I think I may have found it. And it really surprises me what it ended up being because it's from a brand called Thomas Earnshaw. Thomas Earnshaw is not a brand that I'm particularly interested in. I've seen reviews of them and it really isn't a brand that I would generally steer people towards. However, what they do do amongst this large range of watches is some really unique, interesting watches. And if you like one of those unique, interesting watches and you get it for the right price, which is what I did today, is you may end up with a really fun watch in your collection. Now, I bought this one from Ashford.com. I'm an affiliate member with Ashford.com. I did not get any discounts or this watch free, not at all. I just came across it on Ashford.com. I know I'm saying Ashford.com a lot, but I am saying it because I actually end up buying a lot of watches from there. It has nothing to do with my affiliation with them. It's because it is generally the cheapest place to buy watches. And that's exactly where I found the watch today. So if you are interested in this one, I will leave an affiliate link down below. Now, you may ask how much is this watch compared to the 5000 dollar bel canto well this one was around a hundred us dollars plus you then get an extra 10 percent discount from the website so 90 us dollars and for 90 us dollars you're probably not expecting much i wasn't expecting much maybe just something a little bit fun a little bit interesting but i have to say i've actually been slightly impressed by it also surprised of that point of being slightly impressed by it but in a first impression style video, let's flip the camera around and see what I've come up with as this alternative to the Bel Canto. Does it actually look a little bit like it or is it completely off base? Let's flip the camera and let's check it out. So before we even jump into looking at this watch properly, let's check it out and see if you actually see what I see. Do you see the similarities that it has to that Christopher Ward watch? Yes, of course, it's not the same. Yes, it doesn't have the chiming movement. Yes, it doesn't have what that watch has. But this one is also super affordable. It just has a flavor of it to me. Not just the little subdial there that has the time, but even the case shape has a really nice crystal and it just sort of seems to sort of represent it to me. It gives me a bit of a flavor of that Christopher Ward without the price tag of that Christopher Ward. And that is the first of four things that really stood out to me about this watch as soon as I opened it, that it really did have that feel. I'm really quite surprised. I kind of expected, yes, it has a little bit of a look to it with that dial there with the time. I didn't expect the case to actually really feel like it as well, but it really does. Secondly is the crystal. It is really nice. Now I'm going to assume it's a mineral crystal at this sort of price, but it really suits the watch. It really hovers over the top of that dial and all those interesting movement bits inside the watch and it looks good and it suits it. It certainly feels well made as well. And that really goes into the third thing that stood out to me, the quality of this watch. Yes, now, this is a budget watch, it's not a super expensive watch, and you shouldn't be paying a lot of money for this watch, but the quality for the price that I paid is really good. I'm really surprised. It has a full metal bracelet, full metal solid end links. It is really well put together. The finishing's quite nice. We've got some brushing and some polishing. It has a butterfly clasp, which looks good. See-through case back. The quality is so much better than I expected. I expected this to be possibly a little bit tacky, a little bit cheap feeling, and it's not. It's not a super high-end watch by any means, so please don't expect it to be sort of equal to much more expensive watches. But for the price that I paid, 
I'm really impressed. And that really leads me into the fourth thing. Let's check this out behind here. Check out that movement. Now, I have no idea what movement it is because I can't find what it is. But check out all the decoration on the rotor there and on the movement itself and those blue screws. I'm going to guess not blued, but blue. It's actually quite impressive. Look at it. It's shiny. It's got all those sort of decorations, all those stripes, all those swells. Quite impressive for this amount of money. But we are buying this one to be a bit of an interest factor, aren't we? We are buying this to be something a bit different. And that difference is all on the dial. Let's check it out. So we've got a blue sub-dial there, which I guess when you say sub-dial, that's actually the main part of the watch there. Hour and minute hand, no running second hand on this one to be aware of. But just be aware, look how 3D that is. So there's a real 3D effect to that. And a nice blue. Behind it, we have a silver sort of finish, which has a bit of a sunburst to it. There's a bit of glitter to it. And we've got these two balance springs here, which are moving away, which is really, really kind of cool. Do have some lettering in here, which I have to admit is not my favorite part of this watch, where it says automatic. And it says like 50 joules or something there. Assuming there's a few joules in this particular movement. The other thing that I probably don't think is perfect is the cutaway. I think they've cut too much of that dial away. If they sort of brought that back down a little bit further just to accentuate those balance springs a bit more, I think it would have been better. But that aside, I think it looks cool. And it's actually got a relatively nice size on wrist too, which has rather surprised me. Now, one negative which I've already noticed about this one, one that sort of stands out a little bit, and that is when you're winding this watch, because it is a manual wind watch as well as being automatic, but to manually wind it, it's very difficult. I can't get a proper grip. I'm actually having to use my nails and then I can wind it up. Which is not a big drama, but just something to be aware of. No ghost position on this one as well. I have no idea if it has hacking or not because there's no second hand, so it doesn't really matter. But let's check this one out and wrist and see whether it is actually something that looks pretty good on a medium six and three quarter or 17 centimeter wrist. Well, I have to admit, I actually like this on wrist better than I expected as well. I think it's a very cool looking watch. Yes, it's probably not going to be to everybody's style. Of course it's not. It's a very unique looking sort of interesting dial but it's something fun and it is affordable. Something worth noting though, unfortunately, butterfly clasp, no half links. So I actually wear this one probably a tiny little bit looser than I would like to, because I don't have the option to fit it perfectly. So you're probably likely gonna be wearing this one a little bit loose or a little bit tight. All right guys, what do you think of this one? Do you think I'm completely mad for buying this one? Or do you think my reasoning behind it is actually sound? That being it's affordable, it's interesting, and it has a little bit of a flavor of that bel canto. Yeah, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you think I'm nuts, or if possibly I've found something rather interesting. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am actually gonna be wearing this one. I kind of expected that I might actually just buy it as a bit of a weird token thing, but I'm enjoying it, so I'm going to be wearing it. And as such, I'll be doing a full in-depth review as I'd normally do in about four to six weeks. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope to see you in the next video.